Hello everyone, Sigmalator here. Welcome back to Spider-Man Miles Morales. Uh, no idea where this last cache is in this area. It's n not showing up there. But it's got to be there somewhere though, hasn't it? Because the other base there has a tick next to it. So it's saying I've collected the cache. I might have one more look. Today, I want to address some rumors making the rounds of the pool halls oh, and God. sleazy bars. Supposedly, Wilson Fisk has been trying to destabilize Harlem in order to make it cheaper and easier for him to acquire property. All from behind bars. Now, you all know my distaste for conspiracy. If there's proof, I will be the first to condemn malfeasance. But until that happens, it is poisonous, irresponsible, and wrong to repeat such baseless and inflammatory claims. That's the kind of behavior I'd expect from someone like Spider-Man, who several people have told me enjoys a destabilized neighborhood himself because it creates more crime and thus more opportunities for him. Ah, to there's the way in. Himself. It was Let's hidden behind a wall. And stick to the facts. Okay, people. All right. Okay, that wasn't the way in then. Usually, when I scan, the crate will show up somewhere. Do I have to do this mission again to get to it? Is that what it's telling me? All right, let's let's try that. Damage five enemies using yankable items. Now, I don't know why I'm trying to be too quiet here because these guys come in waves. Well, let's get rid of the sniper dudes at least. Alright, I wasn't close enough apparently. Hey Evan, you still on patrol? It looks so peaceful now. Right. Someone check on Evan. Ah. That's what it means by Yankadoodle. Alright then. Come on over here, please. No, that was the wrong one. Oh, now you do it. No, can you come over here? Oh, no. Look, can you just do what I want you to do? There we go. Thank you. Oh, fuck this. Okay, not the one I wanted you to go for. No, this is going horribly wrong. God damn it, can you all form an orderly queue? Because that would make life better for me if you could just do what I want. Not really, I need to... Why are there two of you? Can you? Oh, 
No, one with the sniper, please. Why are you do doing that? Did nothing. Go fuck! Oh my fucking god, can you do as I would like you to do, please? Jesus Christ! How did that go so badly? Everybody, look around. Why did you go for that one? It's bad enough that these guys aren't doing what I want them to do. Don't need you, you doing the same thing, Miles. You reckon? God damn it. No, I don't want to retry again. Oh, now that's opening up. There it is. Don't mind if I do. I've heard differing opinions from my discerning but, listeners there we go. on Roxxon security rules. On the one hand, this is fair. There are some of the same concerns I have about Spike. These are not law enforcement officers and do not answer to the same standard. On the other hand, Roxxon We've got skill points still to spend. Sorry, Jameson. Gonna, excuse me. Gonna have to cut you off. People are concerned about or maybe not. Started because Spider-Man broke and entered into Roxxon's places of business. Now I'm told these incidents have died down, but I ask you, if a stranger in a skin-tight suit burst into your bedroom at night, what would you do? No, no, wait, that was rhetorical. Jared, shut down the comments. You people are sick. Can you... What is going on with that? 
And I know I'm not recording on the PS3, so that uh, PS5 rather. So that's one thing. It's probably just another. No, uh, a notification here, I've got to turn off in the settings somewhere. Okay, they're all upgraded. <laughs> no, I won't replace the mod. Can I build anything else? No. Uh, yeah, we'll stick with that one because I quite like that. That's quite cool. Got some new moves we could try out later. Right, that was a palaver, but that's all done now, finally. And it only took 10 minutes. <laughs> right, we'll go here, fast travel, and get these sound things. I got better things to do. Of course, you do. All right, what we've got here. This one was all your dad's idea. You need something that's always in this park. Quiet on their own. Loud in a group. Loud in a group? Pigeons. Uh, hmm. Wait for them to come back, maybe? That's the dude ice skating. They're too far away, apparently. Back again, I guess. Probably something you'd always find here, like birds or the, trees the, or. Yeah, I've already went, no, I've already worked it out, Miles. Geez. How are they too far away when they're right there? And I'm not being nuts, am I? That's definitely pigeons. Can you not come back? I've gotten five calls about Morales' campaign today. Those people don't quit. They're annoying me too. Morales this, city council that. Don't they realize the system is the problem? There's a lot of birds around here. Maybe. You're just waiting for these pigeons to come back. Or maybe I need to approach them while camouflaged. That might be the thing. I keep forgetting I have that ability. There we go. How did Dad record this? Carefully, I imagine. Pigeon whisper. This was way back, before high school. We were hanging in the park one day, and someone dropped a hot dog. You know how that goes. The place was swarming with pigeons. Your dad stopped cold. He said, Aaron, man, that's music. Listen. Next day, we were crawling all over Manhattan looking for beats. Like you are now. I remember the first time they showed me how to sample. Uncle Aaron had the gear. And Dad had the ear for music. Alright. I don't know much about music design, but... I'll take your word for it. Where have we 
got some app things to do as well still. Yeah, I think I'll make this episode more about doing the side missions for a bit. I'd say the soundtrack to this game is awesome. I'm not the biggest R&B fan. But when I, hit, when I hear a good tune, it's, it doesn't matter what genre it's from. As long as it's, it hits the right beats for me, that's all that matters. There we go. You out right there, boys? I'm sure you do. <laughs> so, after all that palaver with the underground, I need a decent win. Just blowing off some steam, boys. There we go. See the headlines. Spider-Man, presence protector. <sighs> or something less corny. Cool. You ever need my help again? <laughs> Hit the app. All right. Where's this one? Up here. Ah, there it is. Your mom lived here right after college. You know that? She and your dad were dating. Three of us spent a lot of time here. We got used to this soft, steady beat. Soft beat. Am I hallucinating? Alright, what the hell could that be? A wood. No, it's not that. Sounds like a drip. There it is. Right, I don't want to be too close to it though, do I? Let's get a bit higher. Yeah, too close. Too close. Ah, I was looking in the wrong area. There we go. Yeah, it's subtle, but a good beat. Things were good back then. Felt like they'd be good forever. Your mom got her first gig as a teacher. Your dad was new to being a cop, and I just started calling myself the Prowler. I figured we all kept secrets about our jobs. But last, though. Your dad's job and mine crossed paths too often. Man, Uncle Aaron, if you would have been anything else, my mom and dad would have supported you all the way. True. Right. Again, those side missions are not available currently. A uh, sound thing here. And I've got an app thing in there to do. Tidy these up, I think. Does fast travel use up my venom? I seem to need to recharge it every time I use. Hey, Dana fans, you're tuning into my four part series, Underground. 
ground exposed, while Spider-Man was shutting down the underground's hideout in the Upper East Side. Times Square. Easy to find someone in the crowd here. No. Nope. Loser. Sounds you need like an electric current. A current? I could cheat it with Venom. <laughs> nah. Right, it's that, but apparently I'm too close. All right, that was that was an easy one to find. Okay, that's cool. Oh, that's cool. I love how alive that feels. After I started calling myself a problem, met my first client right under this sign. Neon flags hard to miss, and the crowd makes it easy to blend in. She wanted me to steal a painting. I looked across the square and saw your dad looking back at me. He never said anything. Just turned and left. He didn't know everything. Just that I was a thief. That was enough. I think he saw where we were headed long before I did. If you would have tried to act right sooner, he would have forgiven you. I know he would have. Yeah. It probably wasn't that simple, Miles. Right, that's it. Yeah, this direction. We'll do this app. Oh, come off it. Can you stop interrupting me doing really cool shit? What did I say about interrupting me doing cool shit? Where are you? I hate rocket launchers. Unless I'm the one using them. Black Sun Zero? Spider Man? I lost count. Not today, bitch. I cannot let that crane crash down onto the street. It's hero time. Let's get the venom recharged. There we go. Wow, that is a lot of ice. Let's see what that construction worker says. Hey, that man, you okay? Your crane looks very drowsy. How can I help? <laughs> yeah, drowsy. The motor burned out and all the ice buildups thrown it off balance. Yep, that's bad, all right. I cleared the area under the crane, but it could still fall onto the street. You got to get the ice off before that happens. I'm on it. Ice to meet you. Ugh. This is why Pete gave me a C in quipping. Yes. Peter's and <laughs> he uh, has no right to judge you for your quips because his are pretty awful. This is oddly satisfying. I want you to go up. Oh my days. Almost done the icing. Oh, this is easier. Really, I'm terrible at breaking the ice, but Oof, it looks bad. 
All right, so all of them. Now to find a good spot to steady the crane from. Okay, just need to swing it back away from the street. Oh no 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 no! Okay, didn't hurt anyone. But if I know my train schedules, I gotta get that off the tracks ASAP. Oops. I gotta break it quickly. Time to build. Well, that went, did go according to plan. Well, stopping the crane was only the tip of the iceberg, but okay, that's enough ice puns for the day. <laughs> so we're gonna call this crane Big Webby in your honor. Thanks, Spidey. <laughs> You're welcome. All right, that area one hundred percent done. That's what I like to see. We get those side missions when they become available. Okay, we need to get you, and then that's you, one hundred percent done. You really want me to believe this? <laughs> yeah, I think using quick travel is using up my venom powers somehow. All right, what we got here? This sound always feels like someone celebrating, even when it's just telling time. Your dad thought so too, so we had to include it. The sound that tells time. Okay. All right, looking for uh, either a bell or a clock tower. Too close. Getting too far away. That's enough of that. No, I'm too far away. No, that's not it. No. Bell towers I can see around here. He said it sounded like a celebration. I've got my eye on you. Sure you have. I'm not gonna find it over here. Right. So again, that's too far away. Oh, I'm an idiot. Pretty sure it's behind me. No, it's not. I'm celebrating. Now I'm too close. God damn it. It is this way, Miles. It's that. There we go, got it. That's it. Give me an hour. When I hear those bells, I remember the last time I was here. Your dad had just graduated from the police academy. I didn't go to the ceremony, so I met him here after. Bought us milkshakes. Strawberry for him, peanut butter for me. I don't know why I remember that. He said he couldn't cover for me anymore if I got in trouble. I told him I was done with that life. I was lying, but he believed me for a while. Or at least pretended to. Man, things got complicated between them. They did. Okay. Got two more soundy things to do, so. I've got a couple of app things to do there. 
and a few app things to do here. Okay, so I think to round off this episode, we'll, we'll do these. I'm not going to push the story in this one, I don't think. But the reason I'm doing this one on, uh, on screen is because I feel like it's going to be important to the story, whereas the others, not really. Oh, shut up, Jonah. This plaza and the blocks around it are alive with sound. What you're looking for is light, distinct. Light, huh? Okay. Hmm, what could it be? It's over there, whatever it is. Look for the source. Oh, it's the wind chimes. Sounds good. This plaza is where I had my first job. I was fresh out of high school then. Didn't have the gear or the mask. Guy paid me to mug his boss. Rough him up, take everything in his wallet. Your dad found out. He stood under those wind chimes yelling at me for an hour. But he never told our folks. He made me promise I'd stop stealing. Wish I kept my word. Deserve better. I wish you had too. Maybe you and Dad would have stayed close. I can't imagine ever turning my back on my family. Oh, that sounds like it's going to uh, be. Uh, relevant later. You know, you know, you hear a character just say a certain thing a certain way, and you just get you just you just know that that is going to come back and bite them in the ass. All right, last one. Ah, I remember this place. Have fun with this one. I had a repeat client I always met here. Got real used to waiting. Listen, hearing this sound running on a tight schedule. A sound on a schedule? Found that one by accident. Fairy horns. That's right. Deep cut. Client I met here used to take the ferry over from Jersey. Work for him was good money. Till it got busted. He's how your dad found out about the problem. Not that it was me, but that a thief was making it big in New York, and your dad volunteered for the case. I could feel him closing in. I had to try and guess which would be worse. Told him, but he caught me. That'd be me. I, I don't know what I'd do. That can't be the only reason Dad cut him off. Not if he fessed up. It just wasn't Dad. Yeah, there's more to this. Hey, young blood, you got almost everything you need for the track. You just unlocked the spot where you could find the last piece. Hope it works for you. Spot in Harlem. Wonder what the last piece is. Right, that's, uh, I'm guessing that's what that new side mission was. 
back to the beginning. Okay, I think we'll we'll do this one to round off the episode. Cause then we can say it's all wrapped up in a nice neat package. You got almost everything you need for the track. You just unlock the spot where you can find the last piece. Spot in Harlem. Wonder what the last piece is. In subway tunnels. Guess a good thief needs a good item. Whoa! I'm kind of jealous of his lair, the lab, the basement thing. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got here. Always making upgrades. I definitely got my suit patching skills from Uncle Aaron. Maybe I should take a few swings. Nah, I'd probably break it. <laughs> Made you something. Should keep you safe. Use the sounds of the city. Use the sounds. Alright then. <laughs> Lock? Something new every day. Hey, kid. Hope the suit fits. You asked why me and your dad stopped talking. He was investigating the prowler. It led him to my clients. People like Simon Krieger, Wilson Fisk. Your dad couldn't afford to make enemies like that. Not with you and Rio in the picture. So I told him. Hoped he'd back off, and he did. For good. He didn't want me around. Didn't want you to turn out like me. Hope this suit helps you be better. Take care, Spider-Man. Thank you, Uncle Aaron. For everything. Damn. Not gonna lie, that's a... That's a nice-looking suit. He used to come to our place for dinner all the time. Guess you never learned to cook. <laughs> he was always way better at guitar than me. Sequencer? Sampler? Vintage? Oh, has to be him and Dad's equipment. My mom bought him this at a flea market. It was a joke about... Uh, can't remember. Uncle Aaron's got tabs all over the city. He must have been building his network for years. All right. Now, as nice as this suit is, I think I'm going to switch back to this one. And I think I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this, guys. If you liked it, like, subscribe, ding that bell. I've been Sigma later. This has been Spider-Man Miles Morales, and I'll catch you next time. Take care now.